Hello, Brent Ferris here from the Beardman Studios, and I'm going to go over a little bit of advanced rendering techniques for Unity. Um, and it will require Unity Pro, so you can do this on a demo, or if you have Unity Pro, or um, you can uh, use it on the Student Pro version as well, any Pro version. So, anyways, you may tell, or you may know that this is Unreal and not Unity. So, uh, why do I have this? I have this open because I want to show you some of the instant beauty. That sunshine up there is just instant beauty for Unreal. Um, and it gets away uh, with that just being awesome. Just everybody goes like this and it's like, ooh, ah. And uh, everybody thinks that the renderer is better in, in um, Unreal when that's not the case. When it comes down to graphics, they're all ba basically baked down to two things. That is OpenGL and DirectX. They're equally powerful. There's not one better than the other. One may be multi-platform, but that doesn't make it better. Uh, in essence. So, um, we'll go ahead and I'm not starting any war, so don't comment about this is better than that because I don't really care about those kind of just just don't. So anyways, we're going to jump over to Unity and we're going to kind of generate the same effect uh, pretty pretty simply. At the uh, at its core it's just a uh, image filter so let's go ahead and you can see that over here in my scene view I have a directional light um, set up in my scene I have a cube and another fl and a floor just like an unreal and I have a camera here so we can see it all on the right hand side I'm running this in a virtual machine so please forgive me if uh, there's any lag or problems in this video uh, I'll make sure that I don't uh, I'll, I'll try not to get a bunch of problems going on uh, Ramble, 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 ramble. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, camera, and I'm going to go up to, well, before I do that, sorry, if you go to Assets, Import Package, and you go to Image Effects, uh, this Pro-only labeled one, import that. I already have it imported, so I'm going to skip that step. So I'm going to select my camera and go to Component, Image Effects, and then I'm going to go down here to Sun Shafts. And you can see now I instantly have this sun glaring thing here. And I can I can fine tune it. I can put it to high quality. I can kind of do the distance fall off here. I can set the blur size, how far it shines out at me. It's super shiny and you know mildly shiny here. Let's get something like that. Um, I can change the intensity you'll see that we can kind of get a sun going on a little bit if we change the intensity pretty high and uh, if I move around my camera here you'll see it acts the same way it's a little intense um, but you know you get up behind the object and you're kind of protected from it but you can see that with some tweaking that this is probably a little too much but with some artistic tweaking you'll be able to get the same exact effect um, and if not uh, unity they give you all the source files. You can open up the image effects folder here and here's all the C-sharp and JavaScript files here. Um, you can see here's Sun Shafts right here. You can modify that to make things better. Or you can go straight to the source shaders folder. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can uh, go through the files in there and there's all the, the shaders that you need. So basically all the source you can learn how they did it just straight through that. So that's just a quick overview of how to get that kind of instant beauty that Unreal has going for it. Uh, you don't have the sky yet, but maybe I'll make a video on UV scrolling later so that you can actually get that going in Unity as well. So um, I like both engines, Unreal and Unity. I'm not biased. Um, and I uh, like both DirectX and OpenGL. So I don't want any arguments over that. Um, if you accept that they are both equal and awesome, you'll become a great programmer because you won't be hating yourself for having to use one product over the other. So uh, that's a little side note for all of you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this gave you some perspective. You can play around with uh, some more image effects if you'd like. Uh, there's plenty of image effects in here that do awesome stuff. The Bloom HDR is awesome. If you haven't done Bloom HDR, you should try it out. Um, uh, this vortex is kind of goofy. Uh -huh. If I get closer to the box here, you can see that it kind of wobbles everything. That's cool. Uh, not always useful, maybe when your character's drunk or in the water or something. Uh, but it's, you know, cool to have those features. And uh, you have all the source code, so you can learn it. 
So uh, yeah, with some tweaking, you can get some awesome effects. It just takes a little bit of practice. Unreal is harder to script in than uh, Unity. It's, it's difficulty in programming is uh, much higher than Unity. And Unity, j and, and, but it, you know, it can uh, work as well as Unity. And its render is instantly more beautiful than Unity's, but with a little bit of work, you can get Unity's just as beautiful. So it's really just about a give and take. Both of them have their pluses and minuses, and both are pretty awesome engines um, and allow us to do awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you uh, take a lot out of it and you can build your own, you start building your own stuff. And with that, we are done.